Hey everybody, Dr. Caitlin here with the PT. I'm gonna take you through a really easy to do hip flexor lunge stretch. Um, this is something that I encourage myself and my patients to do throughout the day. Um, so it's really easy to just kind of weave into your normal daily routine. Uh, most of us spend a lot of time sitting. And so when we are sitting all day long into that hip flexion position, if you can imagine how tight and restricted our quads and our hip flexors become with those frequent positions we are in, it's really good to get the body and the hips opened up and stretched. So we're going to use um, this table here behind me as our countertop. Um, you certainly can do this if you don't have any trouble with stability or balance. You certainly can do this in the middle of the floor without any sort of surface to hold on to. But for the purpose of today's video, I'm going to demonstrate here at our countertop. So I'm going to actually turn to face this direction so you can see me sideways and I'm going to place my hand on my countertop surface here, something steady and stable. Because my right hand is pl placed forward, I'm going to keep my left foot forward, so the opposite extremity, and then I'm going to step my right foot back. So really I've got my opposite hand in uh, contact with the counter and this adds a little bit extra stability to the left leg. Now, if you notice, in this lunge posture, I have my right heel lifted and a slight bend in my knee. What I see a lot of people do is they straighten out and lock that back knee, and that actually ends up arching and tilting the low spine a little bit, putting a little extra stress there. And we don't necessarily need that. So I'm gonna ask you to micro bend your knee, takes a little pressure off the spine, and then I'm gonna ask you to pull your core, your navel in towards your spine, engage your belly. So there's a little difference between this tilt and this tilt. And you probably can even kind of see that if I move my arm. So this is a little bit extended through the spine. Here, I'm gonna bend my knee, I'm gonna pull my belly in, and I'm almost gonna stack my shoulder over my hips, okay? Now, I can scoot this left leg forward a little bit and sink down into that lunge if I want, but I'm not allowed to compromise that low back space, okay? So I have to keep that steady there. And now I'm feeling a stretch through my right hip, okay? And so it's really the front of my left, or my right hip, my right thigh that I feel this nice stretch and opening. I'm gonna keep my hands here for stability. If you happen to feel stable and you don't need to have your right hand in contact with anything there, um, you can also do an advancement. And basically this is gonna get the iliopsoas a little bit more actively stretched. You could take that right hand, if so, and reach it up and over. Now, you don't have to keep your left hand at the chest like I am. I'm just keeping it here so it's outside of the um, view of the video and you can see more of my body. But I'm just reaching up and over with that right hand, holding that nice good stretch, maybe for a breath or two, and then coming back to center. Okay, so if I were to do the other side, I would switch because I want to have, again, opposite hand and leg left hands on the counter, right foot stays forward, step the left foot back, same kind of setup on the opposite side. Again, the countertop is optional depending on your comfort and stability. The overhead reach is also optional depending on your comfort and stability. If you struggle with any balance deficits um, or issues there, I would encourage you to keep your left hand steady so you have extra support. Now, one thing that we haven't chatted about here is really the positioning and technique of the front leg. So with this, I see a lot of people extending their knees way over their toes, and I would encourage you to look down. If you can't see your toes, back that knee and hip up a little bit. So now I can see my toes. The other thing that you want to encourage your body is the correct direction of your knee. So a lot of people will let their knee fall inward. If I face the camera forward, what this looks like is the knee falls in this way. All right, so we don't want the knee too far over the toes. We also don't want it directing inward. So what I would encourage you to do is point your knee over your pinky toe, okay? So in this viewpoint, my knee now is, instead of dipping in, it's oriented a little bit closer over that pinky toe straight forward, okay? So this would be your lunge stretch. As far as how long to hold the lunge stretch, it really depends on your needs. I would encourage you if you just need something uh, standard and quick and efficient, maybe you just hold for two to three breaths. If you wanna hold a little bit longer, um, something closer to 90 seconds or so, that will give you a little added bonus when it comes to building flexibility and changing muscles. Uh, so just keep that in mind that sometimes we need to hold a little bit longer or do the stretch. 
more frequently in order to get that added benefit. So there you have it. There's your nice and easy to do lunge stretch and hip flexor stretching that you can do throughout your day. I hope that you found this video helpful and be sure to subscribe if you like the content here. Stay tuned. Thank you again from FitPT.